What is going on guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a two-leg parlay for Thursday, August 1st, 2024 here at Pick Dogs. We dropped the most repeat videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button, drop a like. It helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, the picks like the most, the picks that I'm betting myself personally, go to pitdogs.com, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description of this video. You'll find all my plays there. Alrighty guys, not going to lie, not going to sugarcoat it. Wednesday's parlay was absolutely terrible. I think we had the we had the over in USA versus South Sudan. Uh, that thing soared under those boys were those boys were playing lockdown defense, and then we had the Phillies. I know the Phillies were down. I stopped watching it. I was like, yeah, the the Yankees are probably going to win this game, um, and they did six five. Phillies kind of fought back there at the end, but yeah, tough tough day uh, of games for us for the parlay videos. But let's move on. We got to it's a it's a short slate. We do got NFL football back. And I will admit, I, I really do want to place a bet on that game. But I just can't find anything. John, if, if you guys got uh, any NFL plays for this Thursday night game we got against the Bears and the Texans, let me know in the comments. I may tell one of you guys. But uh, it's kind, kind of a tough game to make a play on. I was like, oh, I'm going to come on this part later video give out a play for you guys. But, yeah, I, I'm just not finding anything. So drop in the comments if you guys got any edge in this uh, Thursday night first game of the season football game we got i'm still pumped for it but i just don't know if i have the balls the cojones to lay some money on that one let me tell you what but let's get into this parlay video uh very short slate man we only got five mlb games so first pick kansas city versus detroit tigers this over is really looking at me here guys i'm, I'm gonna take the over eight um i i feel like this number is just a tab in low I, I expect this to be at eight and a half possibly even nine um, Seth Lugo gets to start for the Royals. Don't get me wrong. He's been an absolute stud. Um, but I'm still waiting for the self Seth Lugo come to earth party, you know? Um, he's been very consistent, but I think this Tigers team could tack on a few runs off him. But really, when I think this uh, Tigers team is able to score is when this Royals bullpen gets activated. Uh, this Royals bullpen has been very up and down, but mostly down. It has not been pretty. That's kind of been the Royals' downfall this season is later in the game's uh, getting blown up from their bullpen. So I do expect the Tigers to contribute to this game. On the other hand, um, we got Montero on the mound for the Tigers. 6.38 ERA, 1-4. He hasn't been great, guys. Montero has not been good. And, I mean, let's be real. This Kansas City offense continues to roll. They dropped 10 runs in uh, their game today against the White Sox. Uh, dropped 4 the day before that, 8 the day before that. I mean, th th this team is just continuous to score. Um, especially at the top of that lineup, they have a lot of guys who could, I really think, get to Montero. So I think Kansas City scores early and often in this one. And then I also think Detroit tacks on a few runs once those bullpens get activated as well. So give me the over eight in that Tigers versus Royals game. Next, I'm looking at this matchup between the Cubs versus the Cardinals. You know, the Cardinals did look very well, very good against the Rangers. But I'm going to fade them in this spot. I'm going to take the Cubs money line, but only in the first five. Cubs first five money line is the play. I like him in this spot with Imanaga on the mound. I expect this Cardinals team to come down to earth when it comes to the bats. They were scoring a hell of runs against the, against the Rangers, but now they go against Imanaga, who is a lefty. And just looking at the numbers here, when Cardinals have been substantially worse against lefties um, this season, coming in with a 227 batting average, uh, whereas against righties, they have a 253 batting average. So both not that great, but they've been substantially worse against lefties um so yeah and then i mean on, on the road 27 and 27 on the road so i mean it's been it's been decent um kind of their road in a way split or their home in a way splits it hasn't been that much of a difference but really what i'm fading here is them against lefties so you know the cubs they're they're running the score up right now i think the last time i checked it was like six to zero um who did they play they played the diamondbacks i believe oh no they played the reds they play the Reds. They're up 6-0 right now. So if they can bring in that momentum, uh, they're going against Sonny Gray, who has been a very solid pitcher uh, this season. But I just think Imanaga comes out and, and, and deals and pitches very well. So if we could get some type of run support early in this game from the Cubs, I like this play a lot. So for the second leg, give me the Cubs first five money line. Uh, that's going to do it. Let's recap this parlay. First leg. We got the Royals versus the Tigers. Give me the over eight. Second leg, Cubs versus the Cardinals. Give me the Cubs first five money line. I appreciate you watching this. If you want to follow my handicap career more closely, you can follow me on Instagram after I wins bets. I post all my wins and losses there, my pit toss content. Other free picks that I'll follow us back into there, but most importantly, subscribe to Pit Toss on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.